All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and peace and blessings unto the elect. Okay, as we know and as we can see through the through the spirit and through uh, the understanding of the scriptures, that's the, the spirit, okay? That Babylon the Great, which is America, is mentioned in the Bible. Uh, it's all throughout the Bible, okay? It's falling, meaning this place is losing its power. And, and ultimately, the Most High is going to take this place out of power by thermonuclear destruction in a, in a third world's war. Okay, before we get to the to that point like i said in the beginning as we as we in the know we understand that america is not going to st stand forever as this great uh superpower in the earth okay and before our very eyes we're living in the, in a time of of prophecy where america is is being destroyed okay and really the most high is systematically destroying this place. Okay. The infrastructure is, is, has a terrible score. I mean, this place is physically, uh, breaking down. Okay. The, uh, the morale, there's no morale or a high level of energy that where people believe in this so-called country because the people don't believe in, in, in America. The vast majority of the people they have no uh faith in this in this in this country because it's it's weak and it's falling. Okay. The uh uh there's no moral standard here. There there's no moral standard whatsoever that exists here in, in Babylon the Great. Everything is all about is is highly sexualized and it and it's uh highly homo. Uh, about homosexuality, uh, lesbianism, bestiality, uh, you call you name it, is uh, that's wicked and that's an abomination is going on right here in in Babylon the Great, where we don't have real food to eat, uh, where we we have to select from a pool of GMO garbage, meaning genetically modified foods, and then if the food say that it's non-GMO. We really don't know if it's really non-GMO, you know? So, we, you know, we do the best we can to eat, eat the best we can in this captivity. Uh, the water is polluted, okay? The air is polluted. There's fluoride and chlorine in the water supply, okay? With the water that you use maybe to cook with, the water that you use to, to bathe with, you know? Uh, the air is polluted. They're, they're, they're spraying chemical trails in the air as we speak. On any given day, you can go out and look up in the sky and there's, uh, there's chemical trails all throughout the sky. Okay. The money system, that's the major thing. That's the common denominator that everybody, uh, needs the monetary system or the, uh, economic system which is based off the Federal Reserve note, is 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 weak. Okay. Stores um stores are not being able to stay open because they're not making the money that they need to make as a as a to be a profitable business. So they're having to close down these stores and that's an indicator that this place is going down. Retails have been down over the damn near the, the last decade okay and stores are steady closing and that's what i'm gonna focus on in this particular lesson is uh i'm gonna bring out off of this website called uh clark.com and it's, it's it goes into the retail stores that are that are uh, closing this year or projected to close okay and that's scriptural. That's one indicator and one way that this place is falling is by lack of jobs, 
and uh, businesses shutting down because they they're not able to to make the money that they once made. Okay, and that's a big great indicator that Babylon the Great, which is America according to the Bible, is going down. So before I get into this um, information off the website, it's called Clark.com. I'm going to bring out uh, some scriptures. So this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 7. It says, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Now this Babylon that we read about in Jeremiah 51 is talking about America. It's not talking about the ancient uh, Babylonian empire. Because if you read this whole verse, it's, it's talking about how Babel, I'm sorry, not the whole verse. If you read the whole chapter, it, it, it's talking about how the Most High is going to completely destroy this place. Okay? How the, um, yeah, how this place is going to be destroyed. Matter of fact, let me read the first verse and then I'll jump back down to the, uh, to the uh, seventh verse. Jeremiah 51 and, and 1, it says, thus said the Lord Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. And that destroying wind is talking about the wind, the destroying wind that's going to come from the thermonuclear missiles that are going to be shot off in this third world's war. Okay. Verse, while well, I, I go ahead and read, um, Read verse 2, it says, And will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For, for in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. We're living in that time right now where all these different nations, they're the fanners, okay? Because they have the uh, thermonuclear uh, missile technology capabilities just like America. And they're... they're uh, they all gearing up in unison to come against America, even America's allies, which is which is NATO and the EU, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. That's NATO and the European Union. That's the EU. OK, and they're coming. Certain of those uh, nations, I'll say they're coming against America. Because America has been found out to be a liar, to be a thief. To be a, 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 a country that stands for uh, absolute no uh, morals, okay? Uh, a place that will rip you off, a place that imposes its its way of life on you, and if you don't agree with it, uh, they'll go to war with you, okay? So the world is fed up with this country, this so-called country, America, and it's really the so-called white man, because he's ruling this place. This is his kingdom. This is the Edomites kingdom according to the scriptures the edomites are the so-called white people okay they go back to esau jacob and esau if you read that story in genesis the 25th chapter it tells you about the birth of jacob and esau jacob being the progenitor of the 12 tribes of israel and esau being a progenitor of the edomites the dukes of edom okay uh what i'm gonna do well, you know what? I got to I'll go ahead and read read verse 3. It says, "Against him that bended um and I I go back to that word fanners. Fanners is the thermonuclear missiles is going to make this place incinerate, man. It's going to make it real hot. So if you want if you fan something a fire, you're going to make that fire increase. You're going to make it hotter. The way that this place is going to get lit up with fire and be made very very hot is by where these other nations, by the power of the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, shooting missiles on on this place, America. Verse three. This is Jeremiah fifty-three. I'm sorry, fifty-one and three. It says, "Against him that bend it, let the archer bend the bow, and against him that lifted lifted himself up in his uh, brigadine." And uh, and and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts. So it's talking about America's defense, 
and and America's the American army and America itself is going to be destroyed. Okay, that's that's in a nutshell. That's what it's talking about. The bending of the bow. Okay, the bending of the, of the bow is, is talking about these other na um, nations with their nuclear nuclear missile capabilities. Okay, they can de hit that detonate detonator, hit the button, so to speak. And cause those missiles to come up out of the uh, silos and and uh, go to their destination that they got set on 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 target. Okay. And the Most High is responsible for all this. The Most High is setting all this up through prophecy. He set it all up through prophecy, and and everything is on is going on course. Okay. To, to uh for prophecy to be fulfilled if you're paying attention and, and, and watching what's going on in the world okay so uh what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just jump back down the verse so i don't stray away off the topic too much uh i want to get back on 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 topic um i'm gonna jump to the to the seventh verse it says babylon has been a golden cup in the lord's hand in the Lord's Yahweh hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. It's talking about America. The proof is what I just read in Jeremiah 51, verse 1, 2, and 3. That never happened to the ancient uh, Babylonian kingdom where, where all these different kingdoms came against the ancient Babylonian kingdom. No. The, the ancient... Uh, Babylonian kingdom was taken down by the Medes and the Persians. Okay. And say that again. The ancient Babylonian kingdom was taken down by the Medes. Okay. And then the, the Persians come into power. Okay. It wasn't these assembly of nations that came against this place with a destroying wind. Or I'm sorry, not this place, but ancient Babylon with a destroying wind. And like the scriptures say, and it talks about bending the bow and archers. That's talking about the other nations releasing the nuclear, the thermonuclear missiles. Okay. And shooting them over here on America. Therefore, destroying this place, a destroying wind is going to hit Babylon. That never happened to the ancient uh, Babylonian uh, kingdom. Okay. So this is talking about America and America uh, was at one point of that golden cup, which means this place of splendor, this place that people thought they could come over here and the, the streets would really be paved in, with gold. Uh, uh, they, but when the people did come over here, talking about the other nations, they were able to capitalize. They were able to live a, 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 a good life here in America. We're talking about the so-called uh, Ishmaelites, well, I'm sorry, not the so-called Ishmaelites, the so-called Arabs, the Ishmaelites, the uh, the Hamites, the Moabites, the Ammonites, okay, the Japhetic tribes, the ones that come from the seed of Japhet, were all able to come over here and prosper off of America, okay? And, and and that way is is, is is going down. Okay? That way is, is not as it as it was back then. Back during the time where America was thriving and prospering in in, in, in this world. Okay? Where the world was dependent upon America, okay? As this being a country to keep the the uh the nation stable, okay? There's no security in America. Everybody is forsaking this place and, 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 and they have no trust and no belief in this place. That's why these other nations are doing their own thing on an economic scale and on a geopolitical scale. Okay? They're not, they're, they don't want to deal with America because they found out the falsehoods and that the, the uh, what they thought was to be stability, the, the, the Federal Reserve note, has been has done nothing but destroy their economy okay so america is not that great country that it once was 
okay? And everybody can see it. Even you Jakes out there, you see that this place is going down, man. You just under that, you just in that blinded state. And then you're trying to, you steady, you're going to try to make it in this kingdom as long as it's standing, okay? Because you don't have no faith in the, in the heavenly father, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Your faith is in this kingdom, America, and it's falling, man. It's, it's hard to get a job out here. You really got to utilize the internet and selling things through the internet or driving for a particular company. Get your, get your CDL and and uh and drive, you know, to, to make some uh to make some money, okay. The easier way I say the 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 more well, I ain't gonna say the easier way, but the the the, the way that the, the that's in the demand where you, if you need a job, the uh the quickest way you can make you some money is is through the internet through getting uh driving or getting you know had driving uh, 18 wheelers when i say driving i'm talking about delivering whether it be food whether it be delivering for amazon or, or something like that okay um uh, america has lost its power man america is on its way out that's why stores are steady closing and that's written of in in, in the scriptures so we go back to uh, Jeremiah 51 and 7. It says, Babylon has been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken off what? Off democracy, off of its money system, which is central banking. Okay. Borrowing money from a, from a central bank. It's uh, their, their religious standard, which is nothing but uh, Roman Catholicism. Okay, Christianity. And and the list goes on. Homosexuality and, and 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 the list like I said, the list goes on. It says the nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad because the nations are are, are, are pissed off and they're in a confused state because they thought that America was this great country that was supposed to keep stability in the earth. Okay? Or they can come over to America. Or, or well, they could. I'll say this: they could adopt the ways of America, and that could cause their country, their na their nation, to be stable, okay, to thrive, to come out of uh, bad conditions, and it's done nothing but hurt them more. They found out that damn adopting the ways of America has got us in a deeper hole than we were in before, okay. The 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 uh the nations are in a state of conf uh confusion dealing with this so called white man and his all his uh uh contracts agreements okay it's all backfiring on 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 the whole planet Earth because the so called white man is ruling uh opposite to how the Most High set up uh a kingdom to be ruled in in an orderly fashion in a moral fashion okay in a balanced fashion in a in a in a place where justice can be served okay reading on it says babylon is suddenly fallen destroyed how for her take balm for her pain if so be she may be healed we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. Let us go everyone into his own country. And that's the mind state of these other nations. They're leaving Babylon because they see that this place is, is destroyed. Okay? It hadn't got the, the final and ultimate destruction as of yet. But they see that this place is progressively being destroyed. Okay? And they're trying to heal this place. The bomb that the scripture talk about. Bomb is used to heal a, a sore or a wound, okay? And America is trying to heal itself through through different bailouts and these different uh, agreements, these different trade agreements and uh, uh, things of that nature. When I say bailouts, borrowing all this money, uh, 
and put dumping it into the economy to try to generate uh, productivity in the economy, you know, to create uh, sales, people to consume and for people that uh, have businesses for their businesses to uh, to make money. OK. But it, the scriptures conclude that she's not going she's not healed. There's there's no healing for this place because according to Bible prophecy, America is going to be destroyed, man. Okay. Um, back in verse uh, nine, it says we have, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. They're trying to heal this place, but this place can't be healed. You can't heal over two hundred trillion uh, in debt. In, in debt, you can't kill that type of debt. You can't fix that. It's unfixable. It says, forsake her, let, let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reaches on to heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. And that's because this place, first and foremost, is spoke against the so-called, uh, I'm sorry, spoke against the Most High and the Son, okay? And and blasphemed the Heavenly Father and, 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 and the Son of the Heavenly Father, put up this white image that was supposed to represent the most high in his son. Okay. They've lied about everything. Okay. They've committed identity theft. They said that they were the chosen people of the most high, which are the Israelites. And we're talking about the so-called white man have done this under the, under the banner of America or the United States of America. Okay. And, they, and they've persecuted and, and destroyed the nation of Israel beyond the extent of that the punishment was supposed to uh, be executed upon the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This man that went too goddamn far, man. His agenda is to turn, turn the young boys into homosexuals and turn the young girls into less boisterous, manly, uh, uh lesbians okay that way you stop reproduction that goes into population control okay and and so this place has to get judged and all these these plays that the most high is gonna hit this place america with uh lack of employment and and companies going out of business is part of the judgment okay and it's a part and a sign of that this place is going down. Now I'm gonna jump from there to uh, to Isaiah the 47th chapter. Before I read the, the particular verse, I'm gonna bring out. Um, it's showing you the scriptures. Is showing you that America was at one point great. Okay, on an e economic scale. It's never been uh, a moral place. This place has always been based upon wickedness and abomination. Okay, as far as morality. Okay, but people believed in this country at one point, especially the so-called white man. This was their they kingdom. The so-called white people don't even believe in this place. They're in a state of confusion. They don't know whether this place is coming or going. Okay? This place has never been a a place of uh for the Israelites, a place of prosperity, a place that benef a, a country that benefits you and it's for your your turn, okay? But speaking as this country as as a as a so called country, it's really a corporation as a whole, at one point this place was great. Okay? Greatness is economic status and it's power in the in the in the earth. And now it's, it's, it's losing it, okay? And it's damn near and lost it completely, okay? It's damn near and lost it completely. This is Isaiah chapter 47, verse, verse 5. And this chapter is also going into America. It's talking, it's referring to America in this chapter as the, uh, the virgin daughter of Babylon, okay? Not the ancient... Babylonian Empire 
So this is Isaiah 47 and 5. It says, Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, because of this so-called uh, country, which is really a corporation, America, it takes on the way of the ancient Babylonian kingdom. It takes on the way of the ancient uh, magicians and witches, which were the, the Chaldeans. That's your Illuminati, okay? These different groups, okay? These different families, uh, Edomite families, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, so on and so forth, that make up the uh, the modern day Chaldeans, okay? It says, "Get thee in the silence and the end into darkness." It says, "For thou, for thou shall no more be called the lady of kingdoms, that top kingdom that's standing here on the on the planet Earth." Okay, and we can if you looking if you looking if you are looking around, you can see that all these other countries, Russia, China. North, South Korea, uh, uh, European nations, the, the uh, African countries, they're coming against this place. Just to name a, to name a few. They don't want to have nothing to do with America. They, they see that the American way is not going to uh, prosper. I'm sorry, it's not going to benefit their so-called country. Okay? They can see it. So it's not that great uh, kingdom that it once was. It's fallen, and in one way, as I'm, you know, really want to focus on in this in this video, is that why are all these retail stores closing? I thought um, Donald Trump was supposed to make America great again. I thought Obama, when he was in office, he was saying that America was bouncing back and coming and recovering. It was all bullshit. This place is steadily going down the drain man until the most high completely wipe this place out this place is going to continue to fall and continue far, to fall further and further in the debt and and and, and being able to get a, a good paying job a decent paying job is going to become more scarce and and mass layoffs are, are coming down the pike too people are still getting laid off as as we speak Okay, so um, got one more scripture, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna browse through this. I'm gonna browse on this uh particular website, Clark.com, and just um uh, read briefly some of these the headings about these different uh retail stores closing, or a number of retail stores closing. Okay, so this is um. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, I want to get to the point, the verse, verse 3, so Ecclesiastes 12 and 3, it says, in the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble, the keepers of, the, of this house is talking about the ones that really rule this society, the international bankers, the elites. The Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Gaddies, the DuPonts, the Vanderbilt, so forth and so on. The Oppenheimers, okay? These are the families that, that really run and control uh, uh, this world, okay? And the main way they control it, control is by they have control over the money, so-called money supply, okay? They set the price of gold, okay? They set the price of crude oil. And they're trembling because they see the great awakening and they see that their kingdom is falling. And they're seeing, and they're seeing that their plans for this new world order is not going according to a uh, uh, time schedule. Okay? They're really behind, way behind schedule. The scriptures tell you if they get closer to, to filling their belly, belly, the Most High is going to put them in straits, meaning put them in difficult positions in order for them to establish their new world order, okay? Back in verse 3, Ecclesiastes 12 and 3, it says, In the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, meaning there are few jobs out here, 
And I'll say jobs that can actually take care of a family, job that can have you where you, you're not uh, uh, living paycheck to paycheck, borrowing money, okay? Uh, uh, there are few what? Few jobs for people to grinders rep or grinding or grinders represent work, okay? So there's few employment opportunities because there are few jobs out here that you can actually make a living off of. It says, and that, and those, I'm sorry, and those that look out of the windows be dark and meaning people don't see no future in this place. Okay, the future of America is, it doesn't look bright, it looks very dark. Verse four says, and the doors shall be shut in the streets. What, what does that mean? It's talking about these different businesses all around America are going to be shutting down. And a business is set up to make money. Okay, a business is set up to make money for no other reason. Okay, it's set up so it can make money. And these store, these businesses, these stores, they're not making money. So they're shutting, they're not making the money that they need, so they're shutting down. And really, Amazon has been cornered the market. Okay, buying online is the way to go. People are not going in these stores buying like they used to. Okay, when the sound of the, the, the grinding is low and the sound of the grinding is low, people are struggling to get a job. People are uh, struggling to get a, a decent job. Yeah, you can go get a job at Jack in the Box and McDonald's, but is that going to take care of you and the kids? Pay the, is that going to pay the mortgage? Is that going to pay a car note? No. Okay, you can go get a bartender job. You can go get a, a warehouse job. Okay? These jobs can barely pay the bills, man. And most of them can't even pay the bill. You need income by two people in a household, or you need a, a, a part-time job on top of a full-time job. Okay, are you leaning on family to 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 uh, help you out here and there? It says, and he shall rise up at the voice of the of the bird, and the daughters of music shall be brought low. The point that I'm focusing on in this in these particular verses is that there's gonna be few jobs and these jobs, few jobs because these jobs are, are closing are shutting down. Okay, so. That's the scriptures. I'm gonna go ahead and, and browse through this on this website, uh, Clark.com, and uh, read read some of these uh, headings. So it says, uh, 2000, 2008 has been yet another challenging year for traditional retailers. After shutting down more than five thousand stores in 2017. There have been nearly 4,000 stores, store closures announced so far this year. Then it says, uh, the latest news is uh, from a retail giant that specializes in home improvement. Read on for more uh, store closing details. It says, um, retail closing, the latest news. It says, Archer Supply, which is owned by uh, Lowe's, the uh Home Improvement Store or Hardware Store, Lowe's. It says 99 stores. It says Lowe's has announced that it's shutting down of all 99. Shutting down all, I'm sorry, shutting down all 99 of the Archer Supply Hardware Stores that it owns. It says according to a news release, Lowe's says it's closing the Archer Stores which in California, uh, yeah, it says closing the Archer stores, which are in California, Oregon, Florida, to focus on its core home improvement businesses. Nah, they just not making money. Okay, it ain't about focus. Yeah, focus on make the the what we do got our bread and butter. Let's go ahead and focus on that because we really losing money having these stores open. So go ahead and shut them down, liquidate them. It says, along with the stores, a distribution facility that services them will, will be gone by the end of the fiscal 2018. 
which starts on October. The beginning of October starts the fiscal year for the next year. Uh, that's all I'm going to read on that. I'm going to just go down. This is a, a store. I believe it's in malls. It's a, it's a store that's in malls. Let me read, it, read on it a little bit. It says Brookstone. Uh, 102 stores. It's, let's read on this. It says mall retailer Brookstone announced on August the 2nd of this time about this year that it has filed for bankruptcy protection, admit sagging sales. See, because of the sales, people ain't, ain't buying in, in that particular store. Okay. The seller of massage chairs, neck massages, and other travel items said it would close 102 stores. I'm sorry, it closed 102 of its mall stores. Meanwhile, an additional 35 uh, airport-based locations will be put up for sale because they continue to meet uh, revenue goals. See, they not, they not, they not making that profit margin that they need. Okay, this is a fresh, the fresh market. They closing down 15 stores. Okay, the fresh market recently announced that it plans to close 15 stores in Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, North Carolina, New Hampshire, Tennessee, Virginia, and Wisconsin. Okay? It's gone down the list. Sears and Kmart. 78 stores are being closed. Okay? Sears Holdings has announced uh, more Sears and Kmart locations will be closing soon after the retailer said late May that it identified about 100 unprofitable stores, okay? In late June, employees of a 1K Mart store and nine Sears stores got word that their locations will be closing in late September. Liquidation sales will begin early as July the 13th. America is falling, man. Okay, this place is done. There's no, there's no more America, uh, making America great or uh, making America great again. America is in a terrible condition, okay? And it's going to continue to worsen as, 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 as the days goes on, man. This is the, the ch store Chipo Chipotle. 15 stores they closing down. It says Chipotle Mexican Grill is closing up to 65 unperforming restaurants this year, many of them in the next 30 days. Wow. Okay. It says Toys R Us. We know about the Toys R Us deal. You know, that's been out there big time in, 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 the, in the news. <clears throat> uh, 735 stores. Okay. It's, uh, it's a sad day for Toys R Us kids <laughs> across the country. <laughs> no, it's not a sad day for the men that are hoping you know, uh, uh, for this kingdom to go down and waiting, patiently waiting for the righteous kingdom to come. Okay. A righteous and then a profitable kingdom to stand here on the planet earth forever for eternity. Okay. Moving on. Starbucks, 150 stores closing in 2019. So it's projection that 150 Starbucks is supposed to close, uh, next year. I'll read a little bit on this. It says, your corner of Starbucks may be closing its doors next year. The coffee chain announced in 2018 that it plans to shut down about 150 unperforming companies, uh, company operated stores in 2019 fiscal year. Okay. H&R Block, 400 locations supposed to close. Um, let's read on it a little bit. It says it's the first retail casualty of the new tax law. Admit a shifting tax preparation landscape. H&R Block has announced plans to close some 400 stores as more consumers go online for tax preparation. The new tax tax laws make your return a little less complicated. Kroger's is closing down 14. Uh, store locations. Okay. 
Let's read this. It says Kroger's will reportedly close more than a dozen stores in the uh, Relay uh, Durham Durham area. If I'm pronouncing that re re Relay uh, Durham area of North Carolina because the grocery market is oversaturated. Some 1,500 employees may lose their jobs. Good. Lord and Taylor. Okay, that must be a... Let's move on down the line. Uh, Subway is supposed, is, is supposed to close down 500 restaurants. Okay, not going to read on that. Bun and Ton. Okay, 250... Six stores supposed to close down. GNC, 200, and 200 stores. Okay. JQ, I'm sorry, J Crew. Looks like 20, it says 20 stores supposed to shut down. Uh, let me see. Uh, J Crew, J Crew Group announced in March that it plans to close 20 stores in 2018. It shut down 50 stores during the during fiscal 2017. Okay. Amber, I'm sorry, Aber Crombie, Abercrombie and Fitch. If I'm saying that correctly, shut down six sixty stores. Okay. Or it's planning. So I'm not going to read all of them, but they either shut down or they, they're, they're shutting them down in the process of it or they're planning to shut down. Foot Locker, okay, people shopping online for shoes. They ain't got time to go to Foot Locker and sit down and deal that way and get overpriced, overcharged. They can get a cheaper shoe on, online, okay? It says uh, your favorite shoe store may be closing soon. Foot Locker is shutting down. Uh, 110 stores in 2018. Best Buy cell phone stores, uh, 250 stores they supposed to shut down. J.C. Penney shutting down. It says eight stores. Sam's Clubs, okay. Macy's, as we know, Macy's is steady shutting down department stores. Uh, Gap and Banana Republic. Shutting down. It says 200 stores are supposed to be shut down. Okay. Uh, Tavana. Uh, sounds like this is a tea store. It says bad news for, for uh, tea lovers. Starbucks plans to close every single one of its uh, t uh, Tavana retail locations according to a news release okay and the list goes on man Michael Kors so that's what I got off of this site uh, you go it's called uh, Clark.com uh, shopping retail slash major retail tellers closing 2000 18 okay so with that i went i went way over what i wanted to go on this video but uh lord willing this video was edifying uh america is is on its way out of here and the kingdom the lord yahweh shai yahweh bashim yahweh shai kingdom is approaching and uh will be established here on the planet earth with that i want to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings on to the elect, Shalom.